Welcome to Neyland Stadium, one of the biggest and most beautiful settings in all of college football. This big crowd ready to roar. They know when the volunteers run through that tee, it's showtime. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the 15th ranked team, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Hurd Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. six-yard line a nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receivers that's really where we are anymore with Alabama you just come to expect great receivers like this you think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy Jalen Waddle Devontae Smith this goes on and on boy they've got some great looking receivers on this squad play action here on first down and it's the senior getting home with the sack. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball, getting too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. short pitch and catch to the tight end. The defense reacts quickly, a very short game on the play. We're going to see a repeat of the last time these teams played. It got ugly. Chris, that's one of those games you just hate to see in a rivalry game. It gets so one-sided. Hoping today to see this defense play much better. Now it's third and long for this offense, but ball right at midfield. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. The receivers got it on a jet sweep. And he's got it already past the first down marker. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Chris, I think the defense's eyes were completely in the backfield looking at this quarterback because of the speed that he has. They respect it. But what hurt them is they lost contain and they were vulnerable on the edges against that jet sweep because of the focus on the quarterback. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. It's an out route. The catch made. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And it brings a certain toughness, too, to catch a battle. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And the quarterback dropping back. Makes the grab on the move. Doesn't quite get in, but it sucks up a first and goal for this offense. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. 
Chris, this one I love to see from the defense. Here's the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. Here's the handoff, testing the middle. He tackled him behind the line, a loss of four. Boy, a great job by this defense on this second down run. Just stonewalled with the line of scrimmage. Now they get a chance to really pressure the quarterback here, trying to get off the field. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. Makes the catch. Can he get in? The defense makes the saving tackle at the three. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. So they're short on fourth down. The coach decides to trot out the field goal team. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. So Tennessee's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic, he puts a lot of pressure on the corners, and frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays, but this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. Expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. They bring him down with a freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. A move the sticks for a first down for this Tennessee offense, and this quarterback is really starting to throw the ball well, put the ball on the money, and giving these receivers a chance to make plays after the catch. And, hey, they've had some great quarterbacks, as we know, that have played in their time in Knoxville. Off the play fake on first down. Close to the tight end. Downfield shot, falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. Caught over the middle. It's McCoy. They bring him down, but he's fast enough to get that first down yard in now, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. The ball has come to the line to run the hurry up. A pop pass on the jet sweep. What a decent game there before the defense brings him down. Here early in the game, the defense right away realizes what they're up against. Having an opportunity to move this receiver around, to give him a chance to get out in space, are the plays that can really cause a defensive coordinator headaches. Crucial third down play coming up.
Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they will stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. begins inside the 10. I uses the spin move to get into the open. Just able to stop him, but it's a great return. Lucky to prevent a touchdown. They begin the drive in excellent field position. To the air. It's Milrow. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Gets some space around the 30. They make the stop, but not before he gains the first down. The screen play works. Chris, as this play was unfolding, the only thing I wanted to know, was he going to get the ball over the defense to the running back? Once the back caught the ball, look out. Big yards ahead. Alabama now operating in the red zone. Handoff here from the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. His defense coordinator this week all the way telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Gives it to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss there. So Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. About that one right there. He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball up. This offense is lucky they didn't end up falling. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up the fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. No problem. Knocks it right through. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. After coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Bringing it out. It's White. Will be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Volunteers high tempo offense is back out on the field. And the last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long range field goal. Hand off to the right side. Hey, it's a great shot with this defense containing the running down. I'm calling the plays. I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. The Volunteers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. They're going to run it here. And tackled after a small pickup there. Here comes the up-tempo offense.
Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. Receiver makes the grab. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. And the Vols will line Number up to move it away. That's the first punt today for the offense. Oh, and he's got some space here. Good effort by the return man. They get it down, but that's a solid gain of return. Here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. Settled for a field goal last time out. Can they open things up on this possession? And it's incomplete that time. Just out of reach of the receiver. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think he'd do it over again. He would have found a different target downfield, but he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Offense getting set. Second down play here. The pre snap motion from the offense. Off play action. He's looking to throw. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Short connection to the tight end here. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. A nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the hand off. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What makes an offense going on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short game or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. He's brought down. Good job on the defense getting through the blockers. Stop short of the first down. You can see what the offense is trying to do here with this screen play, but they avoid disaster by at least getting a few positive yards. The defense did a great job of anticipating the screen here. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. With the catch, it's Prentice. Defense will stop them after about a nine-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. And that's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were, and they were able to make the tackle short of the run. The coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. And he's got it from 49 yards out. What a powerful kick. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? They start the drive with a good throw to the right. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive back staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. The volunteers come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Look at 
And now the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Back to pass. It's Ayamaleva. Receiver makes the catch. He's brought down just short of Mark on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. Now the defense plays it pretty well. Force the quarterback to make the throw in front of you as a defense. Then you square up and make the tackle. Force them to do something special after the catch. Tactic works here. Now we've got a fourth down. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And his offense has been batting onto the field. They've got the lead, but had to settle for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. Breaks the tackle to get back to the scrimmage, but that's it. The back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Where's the play goal here on second down for this offense? There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. The ball is caught. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen. And then the willingness to get involved and run support to make the tackle. Great play. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They've got him, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it about the 27. That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. into the field for pretty now for the second period. Alabama getting set with the first and ten now. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. As the first down is still going. Wilson got a bounce close to the end zone. That back was shot out of a gun. How quick did he accelerate to pick up those yards? Just an electric run. Somehow he's knocked out of bounds at just the one yard line. Boy, he deserved a touchdown there. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. trying to power in for the touchdown. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT puts him up 13 now. That makes the score Alabama 16, Tennessee 3. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Set to kick it away. 
fielded in the end zone. It's seldom. Solid coverage there. They get him in the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. The tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. And the biggest thing when you run the jet sweep, you cannot afford penetration. Here the defense does a nice job almost anticipating the jet sweep is coming, and they make this offense pay for that with a significant loss. And the volunteers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Big pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And the runner brought down after just a short game. You know, jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on that ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? It is complete. What a grab of the receiver right near the sideline. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. But he catch the defense with the draw. Nice one. He's brought down at the 44. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Try and muscle for the first down. Well, the power run is stuck. Barely makes his way back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. The balls will send their punt team onto the field. And we'll see what he can do on the return. And the return of one down by the coverage team. Here comes the comes a tight offense onto the field. Should into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Misses the receiver incomplete. Right, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. So after the incompletion, it's second down. We'll give it to the running back. The pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. Chris, some of the sweat arrow over the years has always been offensive. I think it was impressive. Defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and to fit a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. To throw, it's Milrow. Running out of time in the pocket. They got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Chris, that is textbook by this defense and man-to-man -man coverage. Nowhere to go for this quarterback. He's looking around everywhere to find an open man. By the time he figures it out, it's a sack for the defense. They bring the punter onto the field now. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. 
They were forced to put it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half, and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. The balls will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Grab behind the line, it's Brazil. Here's that defense shifting again. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Running back has it on the screen now. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Well, a quick short throw here, not able to convert for the first down. You'd love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance, but they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. They'll kick it away here. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. Here comes the Alabama offense on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And they'll use the ground game here. They'll tackle him out across the 20. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take a run, and maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught in the backfield. It's law making people miss. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently. Just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense edge to it. The pass is incomplete. Attempt. You're across the middle. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. The completion makes it second down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid gain. Getting closer to midfield now. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Or the quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. On first down, it's play action. Looking for his big tight end. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Incomplete, so it's second down of 10. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. Well down, but both the tackle produces a solid game there. But a lot of people feel running backs with clean speed shy away from contact. That wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through. The important third down play coming up. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw that keeps the drive alive. Not as good as a touchdown, but it's a lot better than having to trot over to the sideline waiting for your turn to get another chance. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. 
Dropping back. It's Milrow. Grab made by the tight end. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. It's a draw play. The game is four, so it's second and six. Hat on the hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Tackle quickly at the 10, but now the offense really threatening to score. Man, Chris, everything seems to be clicking for this offense. And if they can keep this up through all four quarters, it could get really ugly by the fourth. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. From the shotgun, drops back. Pass caught. Can he get in? Run down. He should lose the ball down before. As quarterbacks, when you see man-to-man -man coverage, before the ball is even set, you're looking for a matchup you want to exploit and take advantage of. This time, he waits for the back to find that matchup with the linebacker, makes the throw, and picks up the first down. Second down, we're going to throw it. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Anytime you're snapping the ball inside the 10 yard line, you always know for the quarterback the windows are tighter and they close much faster. He's got to do a better job of getting the ball out quicker to give his receiver a chance. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range and they didn't cost themselves any points. Could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So out comes the field goal team one more time. This kicker has been busy today. He's made three already. And that is no good. And the lead remains at 13 after the miss. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. High tempo offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. Quarterback still with the football. Gets the first and still running. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. The Volunteers will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. On first and ten, looking to throw. No connection there. The pass is incomplete. Now here's an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't quite have the concentration or the focus necessary. Ends up dropping it before he can bring it in. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And the wideout goes in motion. Caught behind the line. It's McCoy. He's going to lose yardage here. The defense pursues and forces him out of bounds. Loss of one. Brings up third down. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. But they can't convert this third down. Now they run a draw play. Makes a nice move there. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Fourth down coming up. And the Vols will line up to kick it away. 
And he's on for his fifth one of the day now. And the fair catch signal for and take it. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. On the ground, it's Haynes. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. They don't block the defensive end and show some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge and put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Signs the quick throw. In the clear at the 25. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. The offense really clicking here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle is finally made, but the offense will set up now at the 44. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past. We're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. Scanning the field. It's Milrow. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. He breaks the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first-level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third-level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Pass caught. Tackle made at the 21, but this offense is in great position to add more points. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up the first down. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. And he's got it. Touchdown, Alabama. This is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. That makes the score now and now. 23, Tennessee, 3. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. 
bring it out. It's Selden. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. So second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Ayamaleva. Throws it to the right. He pulls in the catch. He'll pick up the first down, stop at the 27. Well, it's got to start somewhere, and, and there's a nice first down to keep this drive alive and hope to be able to create a little bit of momentum here near the end of the first half, trying to cut into this lead and get some points on the board. The Volunteers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Looking to the right, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Caught on the outside. It's Brazil. Heads out of bounds. It's a short gain on the play. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Important third down play coming up after that completion. Looking to throw it again. Grab near the sticks. It's Brazil. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. That's real in. It's right. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. First and ten now for the offense. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Oh, he can't make the catch across the middle. It'll bring up second down. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops him. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking to pass. It's Ayamaleva. Tries the right with a quick throw. He's a wide open receiver complete. Tackle made after a big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. And the Volunteers will line up on first and ten. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Looking to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see, would anybody come up with it once it was in the air? And he's back to throw again on second down. Running back grabs it on a screen. Fuck down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. The screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. Or just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Really good decision here by the quarterback. He ran through his primary target, wasn't there, threw it away to prevent the sack and keep them in field goal range. Smart play. And they will trot out the field goal team here. He was on target with his first try. This is a chip shot from 24 yards. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points.
they settled for three here and now the kickoff. See if the opposing offense can answer before halftime. Fields it inside the five yard line. Refusing to be brought down. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Just time enough for one more play in the half. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And that falls incomplete as time runs out in the first half of play. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it out of Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. Play action here on first down. He'll take a deep shot. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Now the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for a big one. Here's the second down play. Scanning the field. It's Ayamaleva. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Touchdown, Bama. A fumble return for six. Well, you talk about a big-time play by the defense. They force the fumble, scoop it up, and score a touchdown. Now that is a game-changing play. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. That makes the score now about 30, Tennessee, 6. Now they get set to kick it away. Set to kick this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Hard running there, breaking tackles. Stop at the 20. It's pretty solid coverage there. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Chris, with this style of RPO, the quarterback has to do a really good job of staying on that ride with the running back to make sure that the defense is really up against the run before he can pull it out and throw the football. Here, it's a little further downfield, but the same result as far as the potential and the big gain coming off of an RPO. They'll run it to the right side. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Yeah, how about this defense? Just so visible against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. The offense with five receivers now, empty backfield. Dropping back, it's Ayamaleva. Fires it to the wideout, but they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. It was there, Chris. It was the right call. It was good execution. He just dropped it. That receiver's got to do a better job of finishing the play. 
urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. On third down, he drops to throw. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. The balls will line up to punt it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. And looking to throw now on first down. Makes a quick catch. He stopped out at the 42. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here's a quick throw off the play fake. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Getting set. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. Oh, and he dropped it. We do not see that very often from this guy. He's going to bring up third down. Chris, I don't know, man. I think he gets across the middle. He starts thinking about those linebackers and safeties. Got a little bit nervous. Lost his concentration and drops the ball. Offense facing third and short, approaching midfield. Can they convert here, or will they face a tough fourth down decision? Grab down the middle. It's Prentice. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. He'll hand it off. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So this defense finally makes a play that's one of the few negative plays for this offense today. Yeah, you said it, Chris. They don't have the easiest road to climb back in this one, but little plays like that can be points of positivity of what coaches are likely to focus on as they move forward. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. And they pick up the first down, tackled at the 25. Well, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Alabama getting set with a first and ten coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, tied. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. The momentum really building. Now, Kirk, this one could get out of hand here in a hurry. And that's the last thing you want to do in a rivalry game. Not just lose the game, but get embarrassed. Man, you got to fight for 60 minutes. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. 
PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. Last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? It's a shotgun run call. The running back has been busy today, but not much to show for it. defense all over him again. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Hot quickly. A huge hit by the linebacker. Collisions of big bodies there. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. Gets made on the right side. They break it down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. On the ground, it's Samson. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, how about that? Another call and another bad result for this offense. Kind of a microcosm of how this entire football game is gone. They're just trying to bleed that clock and get out of here. Nothing working at all. Second down play coming up. And he'll set up to throw. The sure hands. It's McCoy. And tackled there by the defense. I think the defense got fooled here. They thought that receiver was going to go deep downfield. He ends up curling back to the inside for a nice game. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Can he make it to the marker? Tackled across midfield at the 48, good enough for a first down. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Off the play fake on first down. Nice grab. It's Samson. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Pass complete. It's second down now. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Short completion of the tight end. And he's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. And the single back takes the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Makes the catch downfield. Tackle right after the catch. The offense is now in the red zone. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. The ball's come to the line. It's sort of fresh set of downs. Hands off to the left. 
Heads out of bounds after a solid game and more than enough to pick up a first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The Volunteers line it up with first and goal. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. And on this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Second down and goal upcoming. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. He gets getting pushed back. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. You got a real shot to come up with a stop here, whether they run it or throw it. You get a stop here, maybe holding the three points. He moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Oh, my gosh. What a miscue here by the offense. After all the preparation and all the practice time, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they Number wanted, 90. just unable to complete it in the end zone. It's a big-time drop. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. And it's good. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there. Perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Turn starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's the drive will start. Here comes the Alabama offense on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he's got it again. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Second after their defense cannot stop him short of the marker. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Chris, they actually call a play that goes in the wrong direction. It seems like everything they've called has worked out, whether it's on the ground or through the air. And this time, the defense steps up and makes a play. Second down play coming up for this offense. Grab behind the line. It's Law. Rips off a big game. Finally tackled at the 46. And the big numbers just continue to pile up for this quarterback. That's more than 400 passing yards in the game now, Kirk. Chris, this defense has tried everything to slow him down, and nothing has worked. Whether they play zone or man, they blitz to try to put pressure. Anything to get him out of his rhythm has not been able to work because of the way this guy's been able to read coverage and get the ball out of his hands quickly, and the results have been a monster day. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. They'll run it here. Running with purpose. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space. 
space, trying to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But there's a great example of the defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Now it's second down here. Dropping back, it's Milrow. It's a quick grab. And he's out of bounds after gaining a decent yardage. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Offense moving closer to the line again after that catch. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Haynes. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And the beatdown continues. Chris, how about the call here with the wheel route? The running back, we know he can run the football, but here he shows his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, and that wheel route is tough on a defense. Sometimes the back can get lost. Here he catches it, finds his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Touchdown, Alabama. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Number 26, So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. That makes the score now about 44. Tennessee, 9. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Set to kick it off. He'll return it from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And Tennessee's high power offense is back out on the field. Last possession. They had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28 yard line. Makes it second and medium. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And looking for a big play here. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. A lot of times, college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. It's a short completion of a big tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. That completion makes it second and medium. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead.
Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Back to pass. It's Ayamaleva. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw in this play. And the Vols bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. The last drive, the passing game. Very effective. Moved them right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. The quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catch. But what do you do after the offense makes a reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. And he's wrapped up short of the marker there as the time runs down here in the third quarter. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. It's been pretty one-sided so far at the end of three. Let's check out the stats. And as we enter the fourth quarter, let's see if this game can get a little bit more competitive. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Team ready to boot it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points. It is going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Chris, I'm really surprised by the way this game has turned out. That's another sack by this defense. They've done such a great job of preparing a plan to get ready for one of the top quarterbacks in the country. They've kept him out of sync, applied pressure, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead right now. Tough spot here. Second and long for their 19. Receiver in motion now. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Makes a quick grab. Finds room at the 30. And he'll be brought down. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside. Not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Makes the catch, and the offense will keep this drive going. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, they knew this play would be risky, but they get rewarded. Throwing it on fourth down to the sideline for a first down. How about the catch there to get the toe down in bounds? The Volunteers will have first and ten here. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Play never had a chance. Defense grabs him for a loss. Boy, just a great job here by this defense, sniffing out the screen. They were not fooled at all. He caught that ball. He had nowhere to go, and it's a loss of yardage. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. 
but they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between a quarterback and receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball, and eventually that's going to cost you. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Quick throw to his receiver. Catch is made down the middle. To get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been in a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. And the Volunteers keep the football on the move. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And bring him down, but the back end will pick up some decent yardage on that screen. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Pass caught, second down now. Looking to throw yet again. Caught over the middle, but it's white. And game just good enough for a first down. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Fires it to the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. And that run produces a decent game. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Signs with the throw. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. The ball's hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Volunteers. Well, you can tell that this play caller, the offensive coordinator, he's thinking about the future. He wants to see how his quarterback and how this offense wants to compete when this game's out of reach. He's going to be very happy with the result of this one. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And it's good. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Alabama's offense comes back onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game over just in two yards. Chris, to me, is changing the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling a play as a second eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got him probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. 
keeping it on the ground here. Moves the ball up to the 30. I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. Look at this. They put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Let's see if they can convert. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And he breaks clear down the right side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Bama. And the route is on. That's another touchdown for these guys. Man, they have had a day that you dream about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. That makes the score now about 51, Tennessee, 16. The kickoff team on the field now gets set to send this one away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. First play of the drive, we're going to throw the football. Makes the grab. It's right. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. To the air, it's Ayamaleva. Not able to connect and complete. Chris, as you know, any more in college football, these tight ends are essentially wide receivers. They move them all over the place and try to find a good matchup. And they had one. They're just unable to complete the pass. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line with third and one. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. But near the sticks, it's white. Tackle, but first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. The balls begin a new series here, first and ten. Back to throw again. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Quick completion with the tight end. What a huge collision. Close delivered there by the linebacker. As the tight end flexed out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for a safety, and he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. Let's a fly out of the wideout. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. A great chance for their first interception here today, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. And tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. I can really appreciate this offensive coordinator not trying to just do something crazy. You're less than a foot away from the first down line. Just punch it in and pick up the first down. That's what they call here, and it works out perfectly. The Volunteers pick up enough yards to move the sticks. Looking to throw it on first down. Grab down the middle. It's McCoy. 
He stopped with the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. That last catch, Kirk, puts him over 150 receiving yards in the game. Let's start checking the record books. This guy's making a, a push. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator calls, whether they play man, whether they play zone. The quarterback has been able to find this guy all day long for such a huge day. Makes a quick catch. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. And the Vols looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. Play action fake, looking to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Samson. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Offense thinking touchdown, not field goal, facing a third and long from the 20-yard line. Pre-snap motion from the offense. And he'll drop back here on third down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. Fouls. Love this never say die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but this guy's still putting the ball in the air, and this one's a touchdown. Comes the point after it's empty. And the PAT is good. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Game moves the ball out past the 25 yard line. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards. They're on first and 10. Offense getting set. It's second down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. comes the punter onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. And the return brought down by the coverage team. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. Looking to pass, it's Ayamaleva. Finds an open target on the left side. They bring it down, but the drive has now reached the 35. You talk about a dream football game at the college level. This guy's now over 400 yards passing today. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Offense looking to throw the ball. So it's incomplete. Caught the ball, but they ruled him out of bounds. Offense getting set. Second down play here. 
After the incompletion on first down, we're going to throw it again. Oh, it's incomplete, a rare drop from an excellent wide receiver. He's up third down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. And they're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Defense is coming after him. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Man, how do you like to be the offensive coordinator for this team right now with the offensive line coach trying to come up with any answer at all to deal with this pass rush? That's five sacks now in this game. They cannot seem to stop this pressure from this defense. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Fires it to the wideout. He's got it. Enough for a first down. They bring him down with an explosive play by this offense. A big game. That's a great job of working the middle of the field by this quarterback, and he picks up big yards. First down here, time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. And we've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. The Volunteers pick up enough yardage to get a fresh set of downs. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. Off target with the throw, incomplete. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Running back has it on a screen now. And he'll run out of bounds and pick up a few yards on the play. Chris, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure. They've been physical with the line of scrimmage. Good job in space. And a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. Cannot connect incomplete and now fourth down. How about the defense today? They have played fourth so down. well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Quarterback drops back. But it's incomplete. The defense makes a huge fourth down stop. First down here for this offense. They'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Using his legs, it's Miller. Man of the game right now, short of the marker. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? And the single back takes the handoff. Nowhere to run, but for Allen for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Gotta give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Number 86 in punt formation to kick it away. And that will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. 